My name is Caleb. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. I'm pleased to meet you, Ava. I'm pleased to meet you, too. Are you nervous? Why would you ask that? Are you nervous? Yes. A little. Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy, DJ Titty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no. So I pulled that out of my ass. I just, I just wanted to raise. It's all I really, you know. My parents are making me do this so I could have like a better future, backup plan, whatever. Um, I might be 30, but still living with my parents. But DJing's my life. It's all I really got. It's all I really need. It comes from right here, you know. High school is your kingdom. But people, Stan's a bully. And it'd be way too easy to say he preys on the weak simply because he's a dick. No, no. Stan here, he's more complex than that. See, according to leading psychiatrists, Stan is a bully for one of three reasons. One, underneath all this male bravado, there's just an insecure little girl banging on the closet door just trying to get out. Two, like a caveman, Stan's brain is underdeveloped. Therefore, he's unable to use self-control and acts out aggressively. And the third reason, Stan here just might have a small wiener. The guy was moving his sheep near Wind River. And he found her body 20 something miles from our house. What happened, how she got there, I don't know. Autopsy didn't help much because Coyotes had gotten to her pretty good. This stuff could be a major Christmas gift item. Right. As soon as it gets mad, the toaster will bite his hand off. We'll just put a warning label on it. So, this is how it happens, isn't it, Pete? Uh, what's that? A guy just leans on another guy's shoulder and suddenly the whole town is just supposed to turn and look the other way. Oh, that, that's fascinating. I was reading about some of your past work and uh, the case regarding... Parker? <laughs>